Hi, my name is Julie Lykin. I'm a Pilates teacher as well as a dressage trainer. I am going to do a short demonstration today of how I work. I will have one of my students ride. I will give her a couple of exercises that she can do on the horse in order to work on her particular issue. Then we'll take her off of the horse and have her do the exact same exercises on the ground so that she has those to take home and practice. This is Sophie Nelson and her horse Ari. Ari is in the process of being retrained. He only knows how to go into a force frame where he's heavy in her hands and he is on his forehand. In this lesson, we are working on Sophie's position in order to help Ari be straighter and more capable of carrying himself. So you notice how when you're sitting here right now, how easy it is for you to look to me? Yeah. Because that's where your body wants to go. Your shoulders want to turn towards the left. Uh -huh. Your hips want to turn towards the left. Um, but what happens is, as you turn towards the left, and you can see it in me, if I turn my shoulders towards the left, I automatically kind of want to shift out to my right sit bone. And that's what's happening is you kind of ride like this and then it shifts you out to your right sit bone. Then your left leg gets kind of stuck on his side. So you end up sitting here with your body turned here. Yeah. And that's how he goes along. Okay, you're going to take this and bring your arms out in front of you. Bring your shoulder blades back. And then you want to think about just attaching this so it drops down your back. So you're taking the arm bone, rotating it in, and letting it drop down. Then relax down into the saddle. Find that length through here. And this is the side that wants to come. Mm -hmm. So you want to let that stretch. And then you're going to rotate slowly. Good. Keeping that feeling of when we lifted the hip and put it back down and turn. There you go. Nice. Then you're going to have that feeling first it's going to open and this hip is going to go forward so it's actually going to lift up and you're going to stretch it forward and then when you bring it back it's going to turn and lengthen down okay. and you can go ahead there you go so open the hip and it can lift off there you go now you're going to think lengthen this muscle and stretch it down and rotate that's yeah, harder for you yeah and lift now this leg needs to have its rotation in this pel yes, there you go, okay. that's it. What you're doing here is just going, let that drop down, let it, everything stretch and relax down. So you look a lot more even right now. Okay. So see if you can just hang on to this feeling. When he walks off, pay attention to the right leg wanting to reach under and the left leg wanting to reach under. So now you're taking those rubber bands and as he steps through, you're thinking, let it step through let it step through so you're allowing for the stretch okay so every step he takes rotate back to the right there you go that's it and so you just think it's like you just have this little stretchy feel in your body it's just a so yeah and feel how now he's starting to take his right hind leg and put it a little bit farther underneath his walk got a lot better He's much more forward in his walk and he's quite relaxed and he's stepping a little bit more through. We're starting to get a little bit more of a bend to the right. So you're fixing his right side. You're fixing his right side because that's what we've been working on, fixing your right side. Bottom on. And right here, hold the rib cage and walk. Rib cage, watch your shoulder, rib cage, rib cage, rib Yes, good job. Close your right shoulder blade in, close your hip, sit into your, yeah. Beautiful, there you go, leg yield, leg yield him a step, just a step, outside, ah, don't pull on the inside rein. Work it from the outside. Yep, yeah, there you go. So we're gonna do the same exercises that we did on the horse here on the ground so that you can practice them at home. Take your right leg back behind you. Then what you wanna do is you wanna look from your, your knee to your heel, back to your knee, back to the hip and just we want to make a rectangular shape. Then it's the same thing that we did on the horse. The leg bone's going to turn out or to the back as you open the hip to the front. And so right here you're thinking you're lengthening and then the back is shortening. And then you rotate the leg bone in, stretch through the belly, stretch through the back to pull that sit bone down. So she's gonna rotate it up and it shortens really easily, but lengthening it all the way back down. Watch your rib cage. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's it. So the next exercise that we're going to work on is rotation. So what you're thinking about is you're lifting your rib cage up off mm -hmm. your hips 
and then rotating Perfect. it around. And <sighs> nice, there you go. And what you'll find is, is that you're gonna ha start to have a little bit more mobility in your right side and a little bit more strength. And the other thing is a lot more body awareness. And the same thing with the rotation. It's gonna help you to stretch those mm -hmm. muscles. And you really need to get the tight side to give a little bit and to allow you to hold your position, okay? All right. All right, we're Thank done. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>